It's 2014 and a brand new political party called the New Founding Fathers of America are voted into office. Following the economic crash and pass of laws sanctioning the purge, an annual event wherein all crime, including murder, is legal, and all emergency services are unavailable for 12 hours. And by 2022, they're hoping to have virtually zero crime, with legal unemployment rates dropping to under 1%. The movie starts out with us meeting our main character, James Sandin, a father who's just getting home to his affluent gated neighborhood in Los Angeles, comprised of his wife Mary and his son and daughter, Charlie and Zoe. And of course, his family has the state-of-the-art purge security system, meaning that as soon as they press a certain button, all doors, windows, and any way to get in or get out are closed and reinforced by steel. And this is all obviously because of the purge. You want to be as safe as possible during the purge, especially when having a family. As soon as the family goes upstairs, Zoe is then greeted by her boyfriend. Henry, who snuck through their second floor window right before the security system went live. Meanwhile, their younger son Charlie is watching the security system. He sees a wounded man running and screaming for help, looking for anyone to let him in. Charlie then disables the security system, which he was not supposed to do, letting the wounded man in. James then grabs the man and holds him at gunpoint. While all of this chaos is going on, Henry decides to come downstairs and point his gun at James Stanton in his own home. Henry then starts unloading bullets at James as James fires back, wounding Henry. And in all of this chaos, the man who ended up getting in during the security system being down, disappears. Once this is all over and everyone's pretty much calmed down, Henry's upstairs bleeding out, and then we see the gang of people who were chasing the homeless man to begin with. There are about 10 or 15 people at their front door, and scattered throughout their lawn. The leader of the group then demands that they give the homeless guy back, and as soon as that happens, everyone can go on with their day. The problem is, is James can't find him, and the son Charlie doesn't want to give the man up. With the family more or less not being able to comply with the leader's wishes, things get insane. The deadline is passed, and the gang decides to break in. James didn't think that it was possible, but but the things that they do to get inside are crazy. Welding, bashing trucks, and pulling the door completely off of the hinges. The leaders then try and kill the whole Stanton family. James is wounded. Zoe ends up killing the leaders. James dies of his injuries. Here is exactly the blueprint on how you're going to survive this. One, you have two decently young kids. I think Charlie's probably 14 and Zoe's maybe 17. Okay, what you're going to do is because you clearly have the money, you are going to bring them or put them on a plane somewhere and go on vacation, go out of the country so that you don't have to deal with this. I understand that James has to work. He will be in the house alone. He has the top of the line security system. He should be able to defend himself while, you know, that 12 hour period is going on and his family is safe somewhere else. As I said, they're living in Los Angeles in a gated community. They have the money. Go on vacation. And you know what? For one, James, how about you go on vacation with your family? Why are you staying there? If you have work, like I said, I get that. But this first installment of The Purge would be the easiest to survive. You have the money and you have the resources. If you would have put your family on a plane, you would have never had to deal with this because Charlie wouldn't have let the homeless man in, therefore having the gang show up to your house and more or less killing your whole family. In my opinion, this is the easiest purge to survive because as I said, they have the resources and they have the money. Put Mary, Zoe, and Charlie on a plane and say, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Lock down the fort, get some Cheetos, and hang out. It doesn't matter. You have the best security system. And you, James, I know you would have never opened that door for anybody because damn, if I was, you know, if I was during the purge, I had all that money and I seen somebody running down the street and I didn't know them, it was just a random person. I'm sorry, not my problem. I like to live, I like life. I'm going to live. But clearly, I don't know, Charlie was on some demon time shit and wanted to spice up the purge or something because as soon as he saw the guy running, he was like, click, here you go, come on in. I don't know you. I don't know what you're about, but I'm gonna let you in. And that is exactly how you could survive the purge. Hopefully you guys did go and enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smack a like on it. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment your thoughts down below on what you thought of the video and also comment down below what other videos you guys want to see me make on how to beat and how to survive. With all of that being said, guys, my name is Chris. And of course, I will catch you guys in the next one.